Hello, I'm an intern here at National Instruments and my name is Matt. Today I'm here to talk to you about the My Traffic system, which was designed and built using the National Instruments MyDAC. The MyDAC has a number of inputs and outputs available to it. For the My Traffic system, I am using just three of those. The first of which is the analog output, which I'm using to create a sine wave to excite my metal detection circuit. I'm then reading back the resultant sine wave from this circuit using the analog input lines. Finally, I'm using LabVIEW to create a decision based on this reading to then influence the change of the traffic lights themselves. And this is done using the digital input and output lines. Okay, so this is the My Traffic System project. Within the project, you need to click on the trafficlights.vi and open up that main control window. Within the main control window, we have three inputs that we need to configure as well as a detection threshold. The first of which is the digital port, then the analog output, and then finally the analog input. Now this is where we're measuring our metal detection from. I've also learned from experience that the detection threshold is best set to 0.025, as you'll see in a moment. Okay, so once we've input these values, we then need to click on the run button in the top left hand corner. So as you can see now in the right hand corner, our metal detection circuit is working and we're receiving our signal. Below it, we're taking this RMS value and that is uh, an average of our wave. Once this drops below our threshold 0.025, the lights will start to change and this is reflected on the front panel of the VI. Okay, we'll just stop the application there. So let's have a look at our block diagram. The block diagram uses two design architectures, a master-slave pattern and a state machine pattern. In the top loop, our master loop, we have our analog generation or analog output creating our sine wave. And then below we have our analog input measuring our metal detection circuit and taking an RMS value. Below, we are then monitoring whether this detection has been made and then feeding that into our control circuit. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how the circuit works. First of all, we've got our first traffic light here, which currently is showing red, and that is our side road. We then have our two traffic lights for our main road, which are currently allowing traffic to flow with the green lights. As soon as traffic is uh, present on our side road, as I'm just going to place here with my toy car, you'll see that the traffic lights will then change to allow the side road traffic through. And then after eight seconds of this, it will then change back and allow main road traffic to continue. Okay, so that's the My Traffic System. Thank you very much for watching.